All right, y'all. What up? It's your boy, your favorite, your favorite little libtard, libtard baby, Skilder. Grayscale main, so I'm off my color wheel shit and insane. So says the doctor, but fuck that asshole. I'm off my pack, so I crack my shackles, so I'm back in this motherfucking bitch. Dick feeling ten times longer than it probably ever is. I'm not one for bragging, brashly, but on the humble, I bang two girls named Ashley. And today. We're going to talk about old news. Hey, critical race theory. Th these three words can trigger any Republican. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> All right, y'all. So I saw this video on Bill Maher's YouTube channel, a clip from his show. Uh, they're talking about critical race theory. And he has Ben Shapiro on and this other guy, Malcolm something, who I don't know. Sorry. Oops. But one, why the fuck would you bring Ben Shapiro on your show? And two, Bill Maher says some stupid ass shit about critical race theory. And he, I, I just want to show you guys, I'll, I'll play a little clip here. Um, but I just want to show you how, how he says this dumb shit. And then, and then Ben Shapiro also says some dumb shit. And I want to show you that. And, um, let's, let's have a good time. Let's have a good time, guys. Let's have a real good time. Libtards be like... No. Um, fuck. <laughs> hey guys, editor's note here. Uh, you can tell I'm editing now because I got my hair up and and I got my flaming Hot Cheetos mac and cheese. So, you know, I saw this video. I felt like I didn't like what Bill Maher said because I'm a triggered snowflake, you know? And I was like, well, you know what? I'm going to just get my thoughts out there and record this video so that's what i did and without a script i went ahead and as i'm editing it i'm seeing that yeah i don't really i'm just kind of babbling and not really making any any saying anything that makes sense but you know i do think i get to the point um so just bear with me come along for the ride we're having a good time we're all friends we're all buddies except for ben shapiro fuck ben shapiro <laughs> If critical race theory means making children in school fixate on race, I'm not for that. If it makes, if it's about collective guilt, I didn't do anything to your great, great, great grandfather. I don't want to be responsible for that. If it's about, you know, a toxicity of just from being born white, uh, if it's about dividing everybody into oppressor and oppressive, oppressed and oppressor, I'm not for that. So there are things that are being taught and are going around that I'm not for, that if that was critical race theory, I wouldn't be for. Wow, that was terrible. Okay, Bill, shut the fuck up. The f that, that's, that's not being taught. No one's teaching that. Sure, it's going around with retards on Twitter, but those are retards on Twitter, bro. That's not... That's not what anybody's saying, all right? Like, that's not what anybody's thinking. Who who said that? No one said that. That's what Republicans said. This is why we can no longer respect Bill Maher, all right? All right? He may be an atheist, but we can't respect him anymore, all right? I thought atheists were supposed to be the smart ones. Shout out to my homie, uh, Thor. Praise, praise be to Thor. I only support the true God. Shit's ridiculous, bro. I swear, everybody's a fucking idiot. And then we got Ben Shabibo. Mr. Bench fucking Apirio. Who the hell would ever... Like, this man... Well, here, I'll just put some of the clips in here, but the the other guy, Malcolm, he just, like, dunks on Ben Shapiro, but it doesn't really work because it only works if you actually, like, realize how stupid Ben Shapiro is if you've actually, like, seen through him, which I don't need to go and explain about Ben Shapiro. I mean, it's already been done. I mean, like, by a lot of people. I would recommend some more news as a good source to learn why, you know, no one should respect or listen to anything Ben Shapiro says. And look, 
I'll admit it. I used to uh, not be a fan of Ben Shapiro, but I used to not be against him. Yeah. I was like, oh, why do you hate Ben Shapiro? He's he's just a guy who who says logical stuff and and you can't be angry at him. He's just saying the truth, but he's not. It's not logical. He's a fucking idiot. He's a terrible debater. He's a fake intellectual. It, you know, but that doesn't matter. Um the reality is a lot of this stuff is taught in schools. You mean like the, viruses? Well, uh, okay. Well, can I, can I? I'm, I'm now, wait. now I'm just. I don't, I don't know. Now I'm just confused. Can I just, what you're talking as far about. as yeah, what, what people are experiencing in. Honestly, it's hilarious, but it's super cringy because it's like, uh, it's just not working. You know what I mean? And people died because so I have of a question. that. I don't need that here. If we agree that history should be taught, why are you defending critical race theory, which is not history? Did I not just say a moment ago that I think that term has been hijacked and that's not okay, what we're so talking about? Okay, so let's say critical then why are you race theory. I'm going to go right. back and repeat that I didn't say that. Okay. You, you, you are right. literally let's defending not. critical race theory by redefining it as just teaching history, which is a cheap semantic trick, and you know it. Is this right. what you do on your show? Because it sucks. <laughs> I see. You know, it, it, now <laughs> I appreciate that, but I, sure I, will, I, will, I will comfort myself sure tonight by a, sleeping on my bed made of money. I'm sure we have an adult. Oh. I'm, sure we, I'm, sure we have an, I'm sure we have another adult subject to no, talk that, about. Well, if people in general actually viewed Ben Shapiro the way that they should instead of the way they do, what Malcolm was saying would work out a lot better. But the thing is, people don't have a bad view of Ben Shapiro, and that's, that's just the issue. Yeah. Everybody should have a bad view of Ben Shapiro. But again, I don't I don't need to go into why. You can you can watch another video that would explain far better than I can. All I'm saying is I thought Bill Maher was a liberal. He should have actually like stood up for the liberals, I guess, instead of giving fuel to the conservatives by going, "Well, if this is what critical race theory is and I don't support, just fucking say that's not what critical race theory is and that's not what the fuck any Democrats are saying, literally no Democrat is saying that except for, like I said, dipshits on Twitter. N just stay the fuck off Twitter. Twitter sucks ass. Everybody on Twitter, if you tweet five times a day or something, like, you know, if you spend an hour on Twitter a day, you'd probably, like, I mean, I'm not saying eugenics is a good thing, but maybe if everybody who was on Twitter just had an accident and died, the world would be better. <laughs> that was a joke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it, please. But yeah, all I wanted to say is that um, top 10 punchable faces, number one, Ben Shapiro. What I wanted to say was that, hey, uh, critical race theory is, isn't is bad because I bet you don't want to be black, do you? Didn't think so. You probably love being white, you little piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, why don't you just, mmm, mmm, fuck. I really need a script when I go and do these things. Um, so what I wanted to say is that, uh, critical race theory, old news? Yes. Is it, is, is, uh, critical race theory, old news, Bill Maher should have actually stood up for it, because he's on our side, at least that's what we thought, not anymore. Guess we don't like Bill Maher anymore. Fuck. Um, hey, everybody. Critical race theory. B uh, Non-white people actually are disadvantaged. Hey, everybody. Critical race theory. I have white privilege. What's up? Critical race theory. Turns out I have an advantage in life living in the United States. Hey, guys. Critical race theory here. Turns out if you're, if you're white, then nice. Um, but in all seriousness, um, I mean, the system is stacked against black people uh, and the system is stacked against non-white, non-fuck. Okay, in all seriousness, um, it, <clears throat> this is why I need a script. So, here's the deal. <clears throat> all 
All right, here's the facts is the facts. I am a white person. I have certain advantages, all right? But, you know, police are still less likely to shoot me. Critical race theory. <laughs> this isn't... I, I didn't prepare for this. Um, hey, guys. Turns out being a black person isn't great. <laughs> all right, how do I... I need to say something articulate and smart to end the video because I don't have a script, but I really just can't do this right now. Um, look, here's the deal. There, there are disadvantages that non-white people have. It's true. I don't give a fuck what you say. Fuck what you say. Fuck what you say. It's true. I'll put a link to a video in the description that can actually explain why you should maybe stop being so ignorant about your whiteness and stop saying, oh, black people just need to work harder. That's why they're disadvantaged. Did I do it? Did I do it good? Thanks, Illuminati. I'll take PayPal. <laughs> Thanks, New World Order. Just PayPal me. Critical race theory is a subject because the Republican right has made it a subject. I hope every Democrat in America takes your perspective, and they, will, and, and, and they will be shellacked at the polls. Roy Teixeira just wrote a piece, the, the emerging Democrat majority, Roy Teixeira, he just wrote a piece about what he called the Fox News fallacy, a tendency of people on the left to believe that just because Fox News mentions something, it can't be real. Hello? Hello? Any, anybody home? Can you, can you not, can you not, can you not sense the irony here? Huh? Hello? Hello? Does the, the, the Republicans don't do that either? Ben? Ben? Ben, tell me, Ben. Ben? I think when you read the statistics, and I have some of them here, uh, blacks earn 40% less. 90% uh, less family wealth. High poverty high schools, 72% blacks to 31% white. Live six years shorter. Half as likely to go to college. Eight times more incarcerated. These are real statistics. The Nobody question is, wait, how do we, what do we do to address them? I th what, I think these are wonderful. real statistics. I, you think we should address them? You think we should address them, right? The question is, what are we doing about it? Because... Ben? Ben? Ben, tell me, Ben. Ben? 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 Ben, tell me, Ben. Ben?